This week, On The Limit starts with some of the best motor racing there is in the land of the rising sun. The opening round of the 2002 Autobacks Japan GT Championship. For the fast guys in the Autobacks Japan GT Championship, this is a rare opportunity. This is the opening round of the series, the only time all year that the quickest cars and drivers will go to the start line unshackled by handicaps. The weight and air restrictor penalty system is one not so secret reason behind the JGTC's success a means of spreading race wins over many cars. But it restarts each season with a clean slate. The 50 kilos for winning a race, 10 for qualifying fastest or putting in the best lap of a race, and so on, starts here. Out to make the most of that are the fastest in a 45 car field. In GT500, for cars allowed around 500 horsepower, the front runners start with nine Toyota Supras with two-litre turboed four-cylinder engines. Honda has five NSXs with normally aspirated 3.5-litre V6s. There are three Nissan Skyline GTRs running three-litre twin-turboed V6s. Plus a couple of McLaren F1 GTRs with six-litre V12s. 10 Porsche 911 GT3Rs with 3.6-litre boxer engines top the numbers in the GT300 entry list. Ahead of five turbo 2-litre four-cylinder Toyota MRSs. A pair of Nissan Silvias with turbocharged 2-litre fours. Plus others, including a Subaru Impreza, a Mazda RX-7, and a Ferrari 360. And two new additions to the field, BMW M3s. One run by Malaysian-based Genji Hashimoto, the first Southeast Asian team in the series. Even last year's champions, Hironori Takeuchi and Yuji Tashikawa, know how hard it is to win a race in this series. And sure enough, come qualifying, it's a Honda hit out up front. Young Brit Ralph Furman, fresh from a win in the opening round of the Formula Nippon series, puts the mobile car he's sharing with Sugio Matsuda on pole. Frenchman Sebastian Philippe is second quickest in the Takata Dome Honda that he and Richard Lyons team up in this year. And German Dominic Schwager completes the Honda domination. With third fastest time in the Mugen NSX, he's sharing with Daisuke Ito. In GT300, Morio Nitta takes pole by more than half a second in the Arta Toyota MRS. Qualifying marks a return to form for Porsche, with Hideo Fukuyama second in his GT3R. Part of the Japanese GT package allows the public to get close to the drivers and to the pit queens representing each team. It even allows the paying public onto the start grid. Time now though to get serious and the 2002 Autobacks Japan GT Championship gets underway. Ralph Berman leading the field away, Honda's second and third as well. Philippe in the second place in the Takata car, then it's Dominic Schwager. Then the bunch, well, this view from Hironori Takeuchi's on board as he travels back in about seventh place right behind Jeremy Dufour's Supra. So Takeuchi in the number one Surumo Supra, which won the championship last year. On the downhill run here at the TI circuit, look at the gap that Furman's opening up already on the other Hondas in the field even. So this car has very, very good pace as he's proven in qualifying. The other two Hondas also getting a little bit of a break on the next car, which I think is Seiji Ara's number 25 FK Massimo car, just ahead of Michael Crum's Nissan. Right on his tail is Jeremy Dufour, then it's Takeuchi. 
Then it's this big fight with the Tokyo on Tom Super, driven by Takeshi Tsuchiya. He's fighting with Naoki Hattori's McLaren and Hidetoshi Mitsusada in the NSX. So the field really bunched up, as you'd expect, on this first lap, taking the infield here at the TI circuit. Thurman's already come and gone, leaving just Sebastian Philippe leading this long line of cars. One of the Nissans, that's the 23 car with Eric Comas at the wheel, having a bit of a fight there with Juichi Wakasaka's SO Supra. So the field well strung out, almost one lap down, 81 to go around this circuit in southern Japan. Double GT300 champion Morio Nitta leading this long line of GT300 contenders. The trail of that one taken up by the Mazda RX-7 with Haruhiko Matsumoto at the wheel. Up front though, Ralph Furman definitely in control of this race in that Nakajima Racing Honda. Crum though has got company. Dufour diving past him trying for fifth place. Can he make it stick? Looks like he has. Oh, bad news for the Malaysian team. Hashimoto heading for the pits. No problems, though, for the race leader, the 27-year-old Furman, who has made a big name for himself already in single-seaters, looking this year to add to that this GT championship and getting started in exactly the right way. Look at the gap he now holds. Philippe way back in second. Dominic Schwager still close behind him. Behind Fukuyama, the second-place GT300 runner, a good fight developing between Tetsuya Yamano in the number three Nissan and Takeyuki Aoki challenging from behind. Ah, we're back on board in the number one super with Takeuchi and coming down the inside of him, that's Tsuchiya in the number 36 Tom's car. So he's up to seventh now, on the move, one of the supras. There's a big fight going on around here with Katsutumo Kaneishi in the number eight auto backs Honda, Mitsusada in the Rayburg NXX and Hattori in the McLaren. And while they fight each other, Aoki takes Yamano here for third place in GT300. They're old rivals, these two. Aoki won the GT300 title last year, and Yamano was second in those driver's standings. And look at the lead gap. Now out to the length of TI's long uphill back straight between Furman and Philippe here. Schwager in the third place. Looking back, there's no further rivals right behind these two. So Honda's one, two, and three quite safely with a big buffer on the Supras chasing them. Dominic Schwager had no drive till just a couple of weeks ago, had hoped for an F3000 deal, that fell over, got called up for his old team when Rio Mishigami was hurt in a Formula Nippon crash. And Jeremy Dufour, second year in the series now, fourth place at best last year, but really making ground on the Hondas ahead right now. Not too far behind him, that's Seiji Ara, 27, and one of Japan's rising stars. Further back, fighting for six, this is Crum fighting off Tsuchiya and Takeuchi. The two Supras versus the first of the Nissans. And just behind them, a good battle between Kaneishi and the Honda, trying to fight off Hattori and the McLaren, and succeeding. Well, for the moment anyway. Meantime, Nitta powers on, running just inside the top 20. He's on his own. There's plenty of action in that long line of GT500 zone. and Krum under attack again from Tsuchiya. Just behind him is the defending champion Hironori Takeuchi in the uh, orange and white Supra and tracking him Kaneishi. So these guys all very, very keen to be moving on and Krum obviously holding them up just a little bit because look at the line behind him as he puts uh, another lap on one of the GT300 cars. Oh, the fight in GT300 for second place. Aoki in the Dacian Sylvia now up to that endless Thai sand Porsche trying to challenge. There's the leader. That's the gap from first back to these two guys fighting for second. And past them comes Hoshino in the number 12 Kelsonic Skyline. Just a bit of a show of how much faster the GT500 cars are around here. Still this battle goes on in the GT500 long line of cars, the snake of cars, and Hattori moves up one place at Kaneishi's expense this time. Up ahead of them, the gap between second, third and fourth is closing up again. 
with Dufour starting to put the pressure on Schwager and Philippe not getting away from them either. So the Dakar Dakar leads the uh, Mugen NSX, then the Denso Saad Supra. Also the battle going on further back. This is Krum still holding off Suchia, but Suchia pulling down the inside this time, trying to get that Tokyo Hong Tom's car through, and he's done it. So a nice clean passing move there, just a little bit of a lock up on the way through. And now you've got the feeling that the Supra behind the Surumo car will be eyeing up the Nissan as well. So the Nissan, of course, running last year's model car and uh, getting a new car mid-season. So it's a little bit vulnerable to attack from the newer cars around it. Also vulnerable, though, is Schwager. We're travelling on board with him as Dufour slips down the inside. No problem whatsoever. Oh, and Crumbs lost another place. That's Takeuchi taking the number one car down the inside of him. And now Hitori lining up behind the Nissan as well, trying to get his way by. But he may not get the chance. Down in pit lane, the Nissan crew is ready for one of the cars. Could be Crum coming in because he's taking a bit of a hammering in this line of cars, that's for sure. So yes, down in pit lane, Satoshi Motoyama waiting there. As Krum comes in for the changeover, they're on uh, lap 36. That's half a dozen short of halfway here, where it's business as usual out front. Ralph Furman leading the way, just putting the uh, GT300 second place getter, Hideo Fukuyama, another lap down. Oh, now it's Takeuchi coming in from seventh place. And Schwager's been in two, and teammate Daisuke Ito is resuming. Oh, he's held up here a little bit by Haruki Kurosawa and his McLaren just getting away underway a little slowly. That car's more than a lap behind. And the Motoyama Nissan also sweeps past. While all this is going on, Dufour completes a standout stint by finally overtaking Philippe for second place. Now it's GT300 leader Nitta in the pits, handing over to Shinichi Takagi. It's a slick stop, and the little MRS is back into the race. Now the fourth place Nissan's in two, and Masataka Yanagida's ready to go. Looks like a problem. Yep, they've got a problem there. Now it's Furman out, Tsugio Matsuda in in the Nakajima racing pit. Looks like a good clean stop. So Matsuda about to rejoin. And just down pit lane, the second place Takata car has also stopped. Philippe handing over to Irishman Richard Lyons. Let's see how they go on their stop. Everything under control. Oh, bit of fuel spilt there. Oh, and that gas obviously hit the exhaust pipe and a flash fire there. Looks like it's quickly dealt to. Lyons gets underway. No mucking about whatsoever. Here's Wayne Gardner. He's taking over from Suchia in the 36 Tom's car. So he gets into the race now. Lyons probably breathing a big sigh of relief that uh, he got away from that pit lane incident. No harm. Oh, now he locks it up. So maybe just a bit unsettled. Or is there a problem in the rear end of that car? Now coming in after leading since uh, Furman stopped, this is Dufour, ready to hand over to Manabu Arido. As the field shakes out after the pit stops, this is on board the Surumo Supra. Now with Yuji Tashikawa, he's resumed in eighth place, there it is. And now he goes one place better as he goes by Akira Aida. In GT300, the Orange 81 car is yet to stop. So he easily leads the class for the moment, running here ahead of the number three Sylvia that's one lap behind. Now Aoki pulls into pit lane to hand over to Nobuyuki Oyagi. Slick looking stop. Now it's another Nissan into the pit lane, this time Eric Komas, one of the last stoppers. So Mario Nitta leads the GT300 class still. Arido has the Denso Supra quickly back up to second place. And out front, Sugiya Matsuda leads. Takagi is similarly dominant, way clear in GT300.
Since the pit stops, the fights have split up a little. But there is this one between Gardner and Drift King Keiichi Suchia in the Autobacks NSX fighting for eighth. And this one, this is for fifth between Aida in the Supra and Ito in the Mugen NSX. This is on board with Ito in that Honda NSX pushing things to the max. Whoa, gets wildly crossed up there as he gets the power down very quickly out of that uh, right-hander. Now loses a little bit of ground. Further up front, another Toyota versus Honda battle. This is Orido in the Supra in the uh, Denso Sad car trying to hold out Richard Lyons coming down the inside in the Takata Dome car. Gets the passing move done. Now that is an impressive comeback from what was a scary start to his driving stint. Richard Lyons moves up to second place. Not that Arido looks like he's going to let him have it easily, though. Still pressing on hard right behind the Honda. Back to the Aida versus the Ito fight. This is on board with Ito. Still trying to get past that SO car. Gets alongside of him. But that's as far as it goes for the moment. So Dominic Schwager did a good job in this car through the first half of the race. Now Ito is trying to pick up the mantle and carry on where he left off. Coming down here past one of the MRSs, going down the inside. This is Ito, gets on the curb, gets loose, touches the ESO car, both going off the side of the track. Oh, they're both back in action. Well, Ito recovered best, Aida next best. Now to the GD300 leader, Takagi having a seemingly perfect run. Still on his own, still unchallenged by his GT300 rivals. Wayne Gardner now looming up on another of the little MRSs. This is the Masaoki Nagashima car. Oh, and Gardner knocks him into a spin. That's one of the hazards, if you like, of running in the GT300s against the much faster GT500s. Oh, now we've got seventh place Shinichi Yamaji in the FK Massimo Supra getting by Aida as well. So that puts Aida in the SO car another place down. It's been a pretty unhappy race here for the Nissans. This is Tetsuya Tanaka's Calsonic Skyline. He's well back, round about 14th place. So like the other two Skylines, they're just putting in the laps here, just hoping to get some points. That's not the case, of course, for this car, the Mobile One NSX out front, now well en route to picking up 20 points for a win, plus one for a pole, and another for the fastest lap of the race already. Behind, things finally settle down with Lions in second, Arido's third, then it's Tashikawa fourth in the number one Supra. Just a bit behind them though, there's more drama with three laps to go, Aida unable to hold off this attack from Suchia. Worse for Aida, Gardner bumps on by as well, dumping him down to ninth. There's no such trouble though for Takagi, He's over a lap now ahead of Mitsuhiro Kinoshita in the second place, the endless Porsche. Tashikawa isn't quite finished racing just yet. He's in the number one car, now trying to pressure third place Dorito in the Denso Saad car, the number 39 Supra. It's of little interest though to Ralph Berman watching up on pit wall as his teammate Sugio Matsuda comes past to take the chequered flag. That's a dominant display by this team. They were in the lead of the race for all but three laps of the 82. Satoru Nakajima and Furman are understandably happy. So two of the Mobile One crew as they go to congratulate Matsuda. That's Matsuda's second win so far in GD500, Ralph Furman's first. Yeah, the car was really good today and the free stand tyres were good, so I was able to push hard and get a gap and and uh, once you had a gap, not be silly overtaking the cars, so that's no problem. Yeah, next race got no chance, but it's all about collecting points, isn't it? It's a long season. I didn't push too much just to keep the tyres to make sure that at least we can save the second place because there was no way about thinking, uh, uh, battling with uh, Ralph today, he was too quick, that's it. Ralph was uh, very quick all weekend, 
but uh, you know, uh, of course the other the other Hondas were quick, but in the race I, I could catch them, and so I think the season is going to be interesting between the yeah, Hondas and Toyotas. Morio Nita embraces the GT300 winning Toyota and teammate Takagi. But their win wasn't as perfect as it looked. His drink bottle fell in between his brake pedal and the gas pedal. Eventually, for a couple of, but, couple of laps, he couldn't get it off, so he had to slow down and try to get rid of it and then falls down again. Eventually, he has to drive uh, past uh, by, the, by the gravel or either the grass and just threw it out the window. So a win today for Ralph Furman and Sugio Matsuda by 28.3 seconds on Sebastian Philippe and Richard Lyons. Jeremy Dufour and Manabu Arido finish up third ahead of Takeuchi and Tashikawa. It's Toyota at the top though in GT300 with Morio Nita and Shinichi Takagi taking their little MRS to a one lap victory over Hideo Fukuyama and Mitsuhiro Kinoshita's Porsche. In the GT500 driver's standings, Furman and Matsuda go to the top, of course, with 22 points, ahead of Philippe and Lyons with 17, Dufour and Arido with 13. And in the GT300 driver's standings, Nita and Takagi similarly have 22 points, to Fukuyama and Kinoshita's 17, Ayagi and Aoki's 13.